Hey guys, I'm Dimension Jump, and today I'll be reviewing Persona 5 Royal, which was released back in 2019 for the PlayStation 4. Now, the main plot of Persona 5 Royal is basically the same as um, Persona 5. Uh, it's basically just an expansion of the original game, and then in, in Persona 5 Royal, uh, some of the stuff that I've been added is some new areas, um, an extra story, some new characters, new confidants, that kind of thing. And, yeah, and what I like about Persona, and I think out of the two games, um, when it comes to Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal, I would say that Persona 5 Royal is the better version out of, out of Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal, mainly because of the amount of stuff you can do. Because uh, it, it, like, it's got all the same elements in this in the uh, in the royal has in, uh, as well as the original, because um, but with Persona Five Royal, there's some of the stuff you can do. It's got some same elements like you know you change hearts, you can um, gather personas, you can fuse personas, um, you can go to different areas in the game, that sort of stuff. But there are some new gameplay mechanics or gameplay mechanics that were in that was put in that was from Persona Five. There were I don't know like tweaked a bit in Persona 5 Royal, uh, one of those being the Baton Pass. Now the Baton Pass is basically a, me a mechanic in Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal in which you can, after you've hidden, or, or once you've hit a shadow's weakness, you can switch to another party member and they um, in turn get a bonus or a, a, an attack buff. And, and when it came to Persona 5 Royal, you can, only act, you can only basically access the baton pass through um, the confidants, but in Persona 5 Royal, um, the baton pass is, just, is immediately unlocked, so you can just baton pass through every character in your party. And I think it's a, I think when it comes to the baton pass, that's a good tweak to it because it's just like you can basically just hit all of the enemies down at once and then put on pass and then you can do either an all out attack or um, have a shadow join your party and yeah and now it's time for some gameplay now with Persona 5 Royal you can pretty much do all the exact same things you could do in Persona 5 but uh, in Persona 5 Royal you can do some extra stuff for example you can, uh, you can unlock a new place called Kiji Joji, I think I pronounced that right, and you can go to some of the various um, places you can go there. For example, Darts and Billards. Now, this is a new thing you can do in the game, in Royal specifically, in which um, you can basically um, choose either Darts or Billards. So, I would say um, Darts are probably better because we can call someone, and all we can do is basically just choose any of our party members. So, and you can see uh, they have different ranks. So, for my character and everyone except Morgana are all at rank 3, and this is just mainly due to the baton pass. So, like, um, and they all have different ranks. So, rank 1 is damage up, rank 2 is damage up and HP recover, and then rank 3 is those two plus SP recover. Now, the rank depends on the character, the, the character with, with different ranks depending, just depends on how much uh, they can do. So, um, everyone except Morgana can do um, damage up, H HP recover and SP recover. So, let's, let's do Morgana, uh, just so we can get him up to like rank 2, maybe 3, because um, depending on how well you play at darts, on, on your Play on your um per on on Morgana's or any on any of your party members second go I believe, um they can get to get their rank up to rank three quite easily. But if you you're, if you're not able to, um you have to do like you have to do like two more times I think or once or like once more one more time afterwards. So yeah. So with that I think I quite I quite enjoy this um. A mini game, just because you have to try and get um, down and um, get your points down to zero. Now, I would say 
um, try like for the for like the first few turns, um, try and aim for um, fifty, just so you can get um, the score down quite low. So that that I got one hundred fifty. Um, that brought the total down two hundred fifty one from the original uh, three hundred one, which is quite nice. And and then the next time the the, sec the second go is your um, party member and they will fire at random uh, I think depending on how good they are so McConnell got one, twenty, or double twenty, or triple twenty and triple one and then yeah so what I'm gonna do here is ha try and not get exactly down to zero um, just get enough points so I can show you uh, like how you can uh, get your party members down to uh, um, rank three of the baton pass. So let's go with oh, I ah uh, ah uh, that was the pass. Okay, never mind. Oh, ooh, hang on, maybe. Oh, this could work. This could work. This could work. Okay, so um, when the score is low enough, um, your your member, your party member will sit, will say something, and and you you can have the chance to um, uh, you can choose if you choose the right one, like respond to your party member, they will um, you they can get down to zero. So that one, uh, and the response depends on how well you do it. And nope, okay. So yeah, you really need to get the right response in order to um in order to, for you to get rank three, but that can happen if your score is low enough. So let's go with uh fifty and Ooh. Nope, okay. Uh and there we go. So yeah. And now, Morgana has ranked 2 on the baton pass. But if, if I had chosen the right response on his last go, I would have gotten rank 3 instead of a rank 2. So, so I would say, when it comes to um, doing the whole baton pass starts thing, um, try and get your score low as possible, but not too low, um, but but not but not when it gets to zero. So always, um, so that your partners can have the baton pass rank three. Um, so yeah, so let's call it for a day. So yeah, you, your your friends can um, help you. You know, can have turns like other things. I think one go um, with one of your party members, you can have another go with another one. Um, but obviously, I had on a rank three, and you can have your friends um, get social link points, which I think, which is, I think, is really useful in my opinion. I think it's quite useful and just helps you get, um, you know, get the social ranks um, qu quickly uh, or get them to the end. And or you can also get like um, text from your friends, like whether it's social links. Or, um, or like whether it's about the main story or social links. So let's go with um, hang on, and you can also see where you are with at, with your um, part, with your confidants. So with these guys, um, you can see that uh, Mishima and Yoshida, which are the second and third ones, have up next to them, and with Iari, which is the top one, um, he doesn't have up. Uh, I think that's because, um, well, I think because basically, you need like to spend time with your uh, with the confidants, and the more and when when you see that they that they, they, they don't have up next to them, that means you have to spend some time with them, and then the next time or possibly the next few times that you spend time with them, then hopefully you can um, get their their search links up. So, so yeah, let's uh, let's go let's go with. 
Um, let's just go with Mishima. Just so I can show you what a specific confidant um, is like when it comes to a, uh, to a rank in the social links. So when it comes to those digital links, they will bring you to a specific place and they will talk to you about their own stuff. So with Mishima, this one's about um, us, about Mishima helping us find new targets. And you, ha and you ha also have responses to um, your commandants. And depending on which one you choose, you can either um, get, get three points, two points, or no points, depending on which one you get. If you choose the right one, you'll get like you know either two or three points if you choose the wrong one you get no points so always choose try and figure out which ones you can choose so that's just this one I guess so that one I, I just got one point so yeah so Machinist one is all about I think helping us get the power of the Phantom Thieves more popular which I think is nice um, I just think, think it's quite cool because it's a nice little link of like, oh, Mishima is trying to make us more popular, but at the same time, he's getting his request in terms of this just link for this one specifically it gets a bit more crazier. Um, so rumors are wrong all the time, let's say. So yeah, uh, and also you need, also if you want, you can get a, spe a specific persona from the specific Arcana that you um, have to help um, get. Um, more familiar with your confidant, so I don't think I don't think I have a moon confidant persona guy, but uh, at the moment, but you know. So yeah, and then you'll be given like you know, um, the arcana, and then the rank. Now sometimes for some of the ranks, you will be given a um, specific um, ability from there, uh, from the person that you're hanging out with. Sometimes, so I think it really depends on which rank you are on. And then which rank will be on uh, will help you. So I think with Mishima, he can help us get more experience for our party members. Um, I think whenever we're in palaces and stuff like that. So his his ones are quite useful for like you know a lot of the battles you you, you do against the shadows and um, bosses in the palaces in the palaces and mentors. So try and do Mishima as uh, as uh, um, do Mishima because he's a really useful one. So yeah. So that's been it for the gameplay, now time to go back to the review. So, one of the things that was added into Persona 5 Royal is some of the new characters. Um, that being Dr. Maruki and Kasumi Yushitsawa. Now, with Dr. Maruki, he is a therapist um, that joins Shujin Academy uh, uh, after you've beaten the first palace. And he's basically there to um, help the students with the, uh, with their mental health and stuff like that and obviously Joker and his friends um, go talk to him uh, and uh, about their own uh, about the things that happened in their life so like with Arn, um she mainly talks about Shiko and how she could have helped her um, Ryuji how um, he uh, basically just uh, men, uh, basically just with the whole situation with the um, track team, uh, so on and so forth, and and with Dr. Maruki's confidant in, in particular, I would say that's the most useful one to do because of some of the abilities or some of the stuff you can get from him, uh, one of them being um, is that you can uh, restore SP um, on yourself and you can also um, get rid of any ailments. Um, or status effects that you might have on you. So, for example, if you if you've got static on you, you'll be able to um, get rid of the static. Or if you're being burned, then you'll get rid of the burn. And with Kasumi, uh, she is a um, gymnast, and her younger sister died in a car crash, and and she tries to try like to help. She's just, trying, she's just basically trying to do for that confidant, trying to make her um, sister's dream come true of like, I think, be going to the top of like, I think like, the regional gymnastics competition, I think. And again, like with Dr. Marky, she also has a confidant, and her, some of her ones are quite useful because there's one in which you can basically just ambush um, 
shadows from a distance, um, you can um, dodge um, a shadow's attack by doing a backflip, um, that sort of stuff. Uh, but for Kasumi in particular, when you do get a confidant, she only starts out with five ranks. Now that is mainly due to story um, elements, but I wish I won't spoil because I think that with Kasumi's story in particular, that is probably the best, like, one of the best, like in-game story um, elements um, that's been shown, and I think it's quite interesting. So I don't really want to spoil um, that part of the story because that is so interesting and so well done. And there's one. And in terms of the main story, there's one confidant that's been changed from the original. That being a catchy confidant. Now, with a catchy confidant, his one was one of the few confidants in the original Persona 5 that was automatic, in which, during specific story elements, um, you would just automatically get, get a rank up on a catchy confidant. Now, there are still some elements of that towards um, the later part of the game, but, um, with, but you can do a Kiddies Confidant um, normally, like with Ryuji's, Ahn's, um, Takemi's, Sojiro's, and pretty much nearly everyone else you get a Confidant in the game, and that's quite cool. Uh, and yeah, and also one thing, uh, more thing that's been added to the game, is the Thieves' Den, uh, which I'm going to show you now. Now, with the Thieves' Den, um, you can basically just go in here from time to time and basically look at the different statues and stuff that you've bought um, from the Palace Maker. Um, and you're, I think you've given to them throughout the course of the game when, whenever you've done a specific thing or, um, or, or uh, I'm seeing certain people. And you can also check out some things like the awards walls. And you're given four different ones. So you've got School Life, Confidants, um, Battle, and Phantom, and they all um, they all are have different like um, rewards and stuff and certain like um, things you can do to um, help get to the rewards. So for School Life, it's basically every day to day life when you're when you're not um, hanging out with confidants or um, in palaces. Uh, so you've got ones like surprise my stomach stomach so that's clear all the challenges at Big Bang Burger. Um, you've got um, one that you, that you have to uh, or, or in which you have to um, beat all the games in your room, uh, complete 15 puzzles on the crossword and just a lot of a lot of other stuff to fill in with school life. Um, you've got ones for your, uh, for confidants so like um, max out every single confidant there is in the game um, uh, being in a relationship with every female character there is, um, f basically friend zone um, every single female character in the game, and the list goes on and on and on for that. And and each each reward, um, each each um, each the, each condition and stuff you have you have has a different reward. So for example, the Reaper, let's say, um, as I said, I think in my Persona Five with you. It is a very strong shadow, so, and this one will give you 70 Phantom Thieves points, I think, which you can, which you can use to buy more trophies, um, go to the music, um, over there, um, go to the gallery, which, which is here, uh, yeah, over there, and also, if I can get round to the other side, um, listen to, or we'll look at the different cutscenes of the movie here, and, Another thing which you can do um, in the in in the thieves den is up here. Now you can see that there are different panels on the floor, so uh, which all, which all shows the different members of the Phantom Thieves. And every time you step on one, you will become that particular Phantom Thief member. So right now I'm Futaba in her um, Oracle Phantom Thief attire, and then when I when I go to Makoto, I'll be Makoto in her Winter I believe outfit. Which I think is quite nice because you can just see different Phantom Thieves in their different attires. And if I go back, let's say go back to the um, Futaba one, then I think you'll be given a different character model. I think yeah, this is so this is Futaba in her in her winter outfit. And then let's go to one more one more character. Uh, Morgana. So yeah, I'll, and this is like 
Morgana in his mouse form in like one of the le light laser palaces. And this is him in his like normal cat form. And hopefully if I can get him in his metaverse. Nope, okay. So it looks like a con Okay, okay, here we go. So whenever Morgana runs in his metaverse form, whenever you're in the Phantom Thieves den, when you go on his tail, you'll just see like a, a like you know, just him doing the cartoony run animation with a bunch of clouds going behind him. Which I think is quite cool and quite funny. So yeah, that's, that's, so that's been it for the game, not the gameplay, but the, um, so that's been it for the Phantom Thieves Den, and now it's time to go back to the review. So, what I like about the Thieves Den is that, um, it's, it's it feels like a, th a, a, a place where you can go to, like, look at all the stuff that you've, um, done throughout the game, where there were, where there's been looking at, um, specific statues or places where you've been in the game, um, look at, um, different bosses that you fought, look at different concept arts, listen to music, um, watch um, some of the cutscenes that are on the game, and various other stuff. And overall, I think that Persona 5 Royal is a good expansion of the original because um, because it obviously just um, adds a lot of stuff and tweaks some of the stuff from the original. For example, with um, one of the for, 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 for one of the UGs, um, abilities that you, that you get from uh, him in his confidant that being the um, insta kill ability, and that in the original Persona Five and in Persona Five Royal, is an ability that can automatically um, take down shadows instantly without having to fight them. Now in Persona Five, um, the, when you did hit a shadow. You only get that mask, or I think that mask got experience. I think if you got a specific mask of a shadow, um, but in Persona Five uh, Royal, um, there's an update which makes um, Ryuji's um, insecurity a lot more OP. That being, um, not only do you get the mask or the mask that you've already gotten gain six P, but you also get the money for, that you've gotten from the battle as well as the XP, and that is a that is really useful when it comes to um, places, places like mementos and other, other palaces, just so you can like just grind easily and just get more money and more experience points and stuff like that. And also, uh, mementos has been greatly improved with that with the addition of Jose, and his whole thing is that he wants to find flowers throughout mementos, and these flowers can. Um, get you some nice items, or pretty nice items, like some recovery, like HP recovery items, SP recovery items, um, some weapons, some um, accessories, um, some defensive gear, that sort of stuff. And also throughout mementos are stamps. Now the stamps um, can be found throughout the variety of floors on mementos. So I think on the normal floors where you, where you're going from like one floor to the next, there are always two, or a lot of them there are two, sometimes there's only one. Um, with one of them being at the station that's on the lower, that's at least the flo lower floor, or somewhere else completely random in mementos. And these and these stamps can help you get more, um, gain more money, experience, or items for mementos. So I think the higher um, experience or money or items it is, the better stuff you'll get. And I think. That that makes me. I think that's what makes Mementos a better place and a better place or better version of Persona Five Royal, just so you can just do a lot more cool stuff and just find those stamps and stuff like that. And for I'm I'm not gonna go too much into the third semester because I I think with that I want people to enjoy for themselves. But if I I'm gonna talk about it a bit. So with the third semester, I think that's really interesting because it continues straight after you've beaten like the final boss. Of of the original game, and it picks up just it just as you, as soon as you've been the final boss, it's it starts to um go in or starts to start it basically starts off in the third semester and then starts off with new content because that is really interesting and really cool of how um with the third semester it kind of ties back to um some of the stuff that's been happening um on your journey throughout the original Persona Five and how it connects to some of the characters. That you've met along the way, and I and the and the true final boss and the true ending are quite nice, and it, and it's like you know, really quite cool, interesting to see 
um, what happens to the characters um, at the end of the game. So overall, I would say the Persona 5 Royal is enjoyable. I think it's an overall better version than Persona 5. And yeah, I would highly suggest going uh, go go get Persona 5 Royal just, just so you can experience the game for yourself and see how much fun you can have with this game. So that's been my review for Persona 5 Royal. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.